All right, Xbox moving uh, full speed ahead on their next-gen console. We uh, we cover news stories on this channel. If you like this, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and if you like to go above and beyond, become a member. We do this from uh, uh, Monday through Thursday from 10 o'clock in the morning till noon Eastern. Uh, if you miss it live, uh, then we do a breakout video of certain topics that we do uh, on this channel and put it up on the uploads later. So the Xbox moving uh, full speed ahead on the next-gen console. This article comes from IGN. Uh, Microsoft is moving full speed ahead in the next generation console, and the eternal email from Xbox President Sarah Bond has revealed uh, the email obtained on Windows Central has verified that to be genuine about the Microsoft also announced the, form the uh, formation of the game's preservation team at Xbox. It says, quote, we're moving full speed ahead on our next gen hardware focused on delivering the biggest technology leap ever in the generation, Bond said, reiterating the comments made in February when the console exists was officially announced. Okay, no further information was shared regarding the hardware itself, nor fans might be able to buy it. And the documents leaked on 2023 suggest that Microsoft plans to release the next Xbox in 2028, regardless of Microsoft seamlessly making the development priority. Also likely to be available sooner rather than later. I saw something else about 2026, but uh, alongside that, it's looking for the future of Xbox appears to commit to the past and present. Uh, we've formed a new team dedicated to the game preservation, uh, important to all the Xbox and industry itself. And Bond said in an email, quote, we're building up our strong history of delivery backwards compatibility to our players, and we remain committed to bringing forward the amazing library of Xbox games to the future generation for players to enjoy. While the game preservation is largely concerned, uh, the classic titles don't become lost in time. It's ironic that the current generation games, which is also be most at risk due to online requirements and digital formats. The live service games are often unplayable without the internet connection, so the servers are just uh, just shut down and disappear for good. Microtransactions being able to even as single player modes can also force online requirements and several other games before the face of similar issues. So, look, I know a lot of people are going with this. I, I've seen some uh, talk on Twitter about, well, they're, they're going full screen ahead with a, a handheld that's going to have a docking station like the Switch, and uh, it's going to be a handheld as powerful as the Steam Deck, and it's going to no matter what anyone says, okay, I'm based my opinions and stuff off of what's already happened. Now, Xbox, the Series S, and the Series X are not selling well. These are facts, okay? They're selling, but they're just not selling well compared to the other two systems out there, the Switch and PlayStation 5. They're, they're well under sales, okay? Now, for Xbox to not be selling their consoles very well, and because they're linked together, the S and the X are linked together, even the one is literally linked together, they do a parody thing. And I can't imagine the next Xbox coming out as being a handheld hybrid Switch device, or if they get in the handheld market at all, because that would just be more parody that they have to, and that would be the next console, but it still has to work with all the other systems, because that is the way Xbox is doing. Unless they, until, until they say, okay, we're not doing parody anymore, that's what they're doing. They're doing parody. Okay, so they want to put the thing as many platforms as possible. I can't imagine them making a handheld device to be their next edition of Xbox. Okay, now if it is a link, like a handheld that goes into like the Switch into a dock and it becomes a console slash handheld, cool. But I can't imagine them going into a handheld device themselves because there's so many handheld devices out there. As, as far as I go, I, I'm still thinking of the dongle. I'm still thinking of that small little box that is cloud streaming, uh, digital only. I can't imagine that they're going to make a handheld device to compete with all the other handheld devices coming late to the party, right? The Switch has the market. Steam Deck has the market. GeForce Now. All these, the ROG. Uh, they, they, all these are already in the, in, the, in the spot before them. Even PlayStation, who even doesn't have a handheld yet. They have the Portal. They would do better with their handheld because they're known for handheld devices in the past. I don't see Microsoft putting money and research and development in this. I've talked about this on GXG. I've talked about this weeks before. So I don't know if Xbox is going to dive into that handheld device, just handheld. Now, with the rumors saying that they might make a handheld going to that docking station like the Switch, you could sell me on that a little bit more because that would be the console slash handheld. That's that's one in, you know, one in the same. But if you're just doing a handheld device, I don't see it, but these are just my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments section down below. What do you guys think? Let me know 
Do you think that they're coming out with a Microsoft handheld device? Do you think they're coming out with a handheld device like the Switch where you can dock it into the station? Do you think they're even going with a handheld device and just making another console? Let me know in the comment section down below. Please make sure you share, like, and subscribe. And if you like what we do here, please check out some of our other videos. Thanks for watching.